Good local time, everyone. I'm Audrey Tang, Taiwan's digital minister in charge of social innovation. Democracy to me is also a technology, a social technology that gets better when more people improve it. One of the ways we can improve democracy is increasing its bit rate. That is to say, instead of like voting every four years, every person like three bits or something,、uh, we can make democracy something that's day to day using digital means. That's why I'm optimistic because we've seen day to day democracy enhanced the resilience of the society and enable us to counter the pandemic with no lockdown and counter the infodemic with no takedown. In Taiwan,、uh, the social innovation has three pillars: fast, fair, and fun. The fast part pertains the use of pro-social social media. We have this forum called the PTT, free of advertisers or shareholders. It's been running for more than two decades, and it's on PTT where people understood for the first time that there's a new SARS、uh, variant coming at the end of 2019. We started health inspections on the first day of 2020 for all flight passengers coming in from Wuhan to Taiwan. So this collective intelligence as A digital public infrastructure really surfaces the signals, not just the noise. Well, we already have a pretty mainstream decentralization technology. It's called the internet. On the internet, when two people want to innovate on something that's never been introduced before, they do not need approval from anyone else. This is called the end-to-end -end principle. When we design new protocols on the internet, we're exercising this freedom. On the other hand, of course, when people think about the internet nowadays, they may think of specific services, or within the same service like、uh, the World Wide Web, people may think of specific providers, and that's the centralization of the previously decentralized technology. So, this sort of centralization we're talking now is probably a re-decentralization. Turning the、uh, technology of internet back to where people who are closest to the field, closest to the pain, can invent new protocols and new ideas. And the central government's role in this partnership is just to amplify these new social innovations and introduce it to people who want to use that. To me. Uh, data is interpersonal, so it is my data. But when we're having this conversation, this recording is also your data. Actually, without our、uh, participation, this would conversation would not happen. And so, because of this, what will go to this recording? Whether we release it into the Creative Commons, do we want to、uh, add share a like or not share a like, and so on,、uh, become a common topic for us to have a discussion? So this is what people call collaborative governance. Whenever we have a interpersonal co-creation, we have a governance topic that we can talk about. So uh, my um, suggestion is that whenever we're making something together, we first talk about the governing principles of our collective production, and that will not only make all the participants more aware of data stewardship and so on, but it's also a great way to reduce bias. Uh, when I was 13, I had my first puberty. When I was 25, I had my second puberty. But I don't say I identify as this or I identify as that. And the reason why is that the mutual shared experiences brings us closer as a neighborhood. But identity sometimes exclude others who do not have the experience yet. So the idea of experiences over identities、uh, is what I want to answer to kind of deconstruct、uh, this question a little bit, and、uh, let's just remain unfinished、uh, in our identities.